I'll tell you what, Molly, it's going to be here before we know it. First, starting with tomorrow, you'll already start to see things are changing. Now, this morning, a very cold start to the day all across the state. Algona, no exception. They've got uh, quite a bit of snow on the ground up there. This was around sunrise. You can see the sun comes up, a beautiful shot. But yeah, you can see the roads still have a little bit of that packed down snow on them. And uh, it'll be that way at least for the next few days until we start to thaw out uh, just a little bit by the end of the week. Temperatures around the state, very, very cold this hour. These are the actual air temperatures, not the feels like temperatures. Those are even colder. Eight above right now, Mason City, nine degrees, Fort Dodge here in Des Moines, around 12 degrees. Thankfully, though, the winds haven't been much of a factor today. They have just started dialing up just a little bit out of the south right now. That's the good direction. Five miles per hour here in Des Moines, eight miles per hour in Fort Dodge, putting just a bit of a bite into the air right now over the lunchtime hour. Feels more like four degrees above here in Des Moines. Much colder off to the north, though. Feels like temperature right now in Algona, 12 degrees below zero. Now, as we take a look at the satellite radar, we have clear skies right now, so sunshine is out in, in abundance. But if we widen things out a little bit, you'll notice just out to the west, some more clouds starting to move in. There's a trough of low pressure that's going to be swinging through. Not going to be messing with our temperatures much uh, in terms of cooling them down, but bringing in a few more clouds and maybe even the chance for a flurry as this system moves just off to the east of where it's currently at. So northern Iowa, especially north of Highway 20, might see a flurry very later on this evening into the overnight hours. But high pressure, that's the dominating force right now around this clockwise spin. We're getting a return flow out of the south and east, and that's going to mean some warmer weather pushing in over the next few days. I know you've been waiting for it. We'll talk about it here in just a moment. Future cast, we're starting things out 7 o'clock tonight. A few more clouds around. Notice very late uh, tonight into tomorrow morning, an isolated flurry off to the north for us here in central Iowa, just a few more clouds. And then as we head throughout the afternoon on Wednesday, we'll break those clouds up a bit and actually see some sunshine for Wednesday afternoon, although it will be still a little bit chilly, but we're back in the 20s. But the big news, much warmer weather is on the way in the extended forecast. Let's take a look. First, our high temperatures today, just for comparative value, 17 degrees Omaha, 11 degrees Minneapolis. We're going to fast forward a day and look at highs tomorrow. About 10 degrees warmer Omaha, but look out to the west, the 40s, Rapid City, 34 North Platte. And we take a look at Thursday, you're going to like this. The 30s are back here in Iowa, the 40s not too far away. And they are in the eight day forecast here in Iowa. We'll take a look at that here in just a minute. 15 degrees today. It will be a chilly day. A few more clouds around later on. Tonight, though, not bad. 10 degrees. We are above zero across the state. And the temperature's actually rising through the overnight hours with that wind out of the south. Let's take a look at this three day forecast. You're going to like it. 27 on Wednesday. Just that slight chance of a flurry. Look at Thursday. 35. I made nice, real nice and big for the weekend. 45 on Friday, 42 Saturday. 41 on Sunday. I can't think of another word. Every day, we're just going to find a different word to describe this weekend. Nice, yeah. exemplary, perfect, okay. all the above. Just be careful refreezing at night, though, right? I know, that's right. Okay.